Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all killing it out there and making it happen. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit video for Instagram. So recently I put out a question on my Instagram story asking you guys what videos you would like to see on my YouTube channel. And a question that popped up quite a few times was how do you make videos for Instagram? Do you shoot in landscape or portrait? How do you edit it? How do you make the quality look good? How do you crop it? All of the questions. And I too had exactly all of those questions. But through some practice and doing it a few times I managed to work out what works best for me and today I'm gonna to be sharing my experience my tips and tricks with you guys today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do this First things first, let's talk about the shooting of the video. And one of the questions I get most often is, do you shoot these videos in landscape or portrait orientation? And to answer that question, I do both. It really just depends on what you're creating and what footage you already have. So you can shoot in landscape, but be aware that you're gonna be losing a lot of quality as well as cropping out a lot of the action that's happening in that landscape shot. So this is how I feel about the whole situation. I think for the most part, shoot your videos in landscape, but shoot at the highest quality quality possible. That way you're able to crop into the footage in portrait mode but still be able to use the landscape footage for something else such as a YouTube video whereas if you shoot in portrait you can't really use that for anything else besides Instagram TV or Instagram posts or stories. So unless you only are really required to shoot in portrait shoot portrait for portrait specific videos otherwise shoot landscape and just crop in and make sure that you're shooting on the highest quality possible. And now let's jump into the editing. You can be here. Okay, so when jumping into editing, the first question you have to ask yourself is where is this piece of content going? Is it going to your Instagram story or to the main post? And depending on that, you wanna crop your footage accordingly. So the two different kinds are pretty obvious. The first one we have is the standard iPhone crop, which is 16 by nine in a vertical format. And secondly, for the vertical Instagram, I believe it's four by six or four by five. I can't remember right now, but as you can see, it's a lot shorter. So in this case, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to crop it for a main Instagram post. So the first thing I've done is created a new sequence from a clip that I'll provide you guys. The download link will be in the description with the exact dimensions for the Instagram post. Be aware that these dimensions are a lot larger than what you would see on Instagram or the recommended size. And this is because Instagram really likes to compress footage to support downloading it and uploading it to the app. So if you export your footage at the recommended size, it's gonna compress that even more. But if you export it at a much bigger size, it's gonna compress it to a more HD normal size. So all you have to do is once you download the clip, just right click on the clip and say new sequence from clip. And this sequence will pop up with the exact dimensions. I already have it open here with footage lined up already on it. So getting on to how did I actually edit this video? To answer your question, I edited it normally. I made a normal 1080p sequence. I filmed this video in landscape orientation. I went out to Signal Hill with my friends Mitchell and Matthew a few months ago and this is just one Instagram story that I posted already and using it as an example. So the first thing I did was actually just edit a normal video in landscape orientation. I gave it my own color grading and my own little flares with these little glitches that I really like to use in my edits. And at the end it turned out to be a pretty cool edit. So once I had this whole edit down and I was happy with it, it was time to take that into the vertical orientation. The first thing I did was I selected all of this footage and then right clicked and hit nest. So this just makes all of these clips into one video file, pretty much. That's the easiest way to explain it. And then from there, I dragged all of these clips plus the audio over to the vertical Instagram template. Following that, I just dropped it all on here. As you can see, I've already done it, so I'm just gonna undo that. So the clips that you see over here are the nested sequence from the landscape orientation. Now, you might notice that when you first drop it in, it's not gonna be the right scale. So just to fix this, you wanna come over to the effects controls and make sure that you are selected on the nested sequence 
and just scale that all the way up until it fits the full frame. So once you've done that, it's pretty pretty much done. It's just about making minor adjustments to the sequence. If certain shots don't line up, all you have to do is cut them at the transition points and then just readjust them to the position that you'd like to show them in. So for example, here's a shot where there's the three of us standing in front of the car light looking really cinematic, really epic, but it's not perfectly aligned. So all you have to do to fix this is go to the start of where this clip cuts. So that is about there. I'm just going to press C on my keyboard to go to the cut tool and then just cut it before the end of the next clip. So now all you're going to want to do is make sure you select it on that cut and go to the positioning and just move that over to the center. So now when you play it back it should all be center aligned. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward to put it into this vertical sequence. What I like to do with my Instagram videos as well is I'll usually take photos and videos when I go out to a place and to make the quality of the cover on your main feed look way better I like to put for the first two or three frames of the video just put a good high quality photograph of what the video is about so as you can see I have this photo that was taken of me by my friend Mitchell and I'm using that as the cover so that when you post it to Instagram this will be the first thing that people see and it'll look like a natural progression if they click on that post and it transitions into the video you'll also then just be able to match the aesthetic of your Instagram feed a lot easier because color grading video isn't the easiest thing to do especially if you're trying to match it to your Instagram style so now that you've edited your whole video how do you export it to make the quality look good? Like I said in the beginning, this template is bigger than the recommended size for posting videos on Instagram. So all you have to do to export it is go to the end of your video, press O to set the out points. Then you want to press Command M to bring up the export menu. Choose a name for your video file, hit save on that. And then when exporting, you're going to want to make sure that it says match source. So please just click on match source. Otherwise things are going to get a bit messy. The rest of this is all good and you can just hit export. And then finally, once you've exported your final video to your computer, you're just going to want to airdrop that to your phone. If you do have an Apple, if not, use something like Google Drive or Dropbox to get it to your phone. And from there, it should be pretty easy posting to Instagram. And that wraps up that. Why are you the way that you are? So there we have it. I hope you guys find this useful. I hope you learned something. Please let me know if you did down in the comments below. But as of right now, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, remember to stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.